My name is Chris Penser and I run a bespoke corporate events consultancy specialising in unique street art experiences from walking tours to workshops and all sorts of other bespoke events for my corporate clients. My obsession with street art began back in 2005 when I was a British art expert and auctioneer at Sotheby's and I was very lucky to be the first person to catalogue an artwork by the then unknown artist Banksy for sale at auction and that really marked not only my own interest in street art beginning but also the transition of graffiti from street to gallery. This is a really famous Banksy. Painted in 2003, it's got perspex on it which is a typical sign that it's Banksy. He's the only artist that kind of gets protected status in that way which, you know, I'd love to ask him what he thinks about about that because street art graffiti you know whatever you want to call it has a, a transient nature like it's very temporary which is the point I'm not your average street art tour guide I'm a, an art historian by trade I studied art history at the court old when I do my tours I'm particularly interested in the relationship between street art and the history of art I'm constantly referring to artists like Picasso Matisse Van Eyck Turner Egon Schiele and in the case behind me with the Australian artist Jimmy C. He's very influenced by the French post-impressionist Georges Seurat and his technique of pointillism. This piece behind me is by the German artist Mad C and she's one of my favourite street artists. Obviously this is a, a, a really bright, bold, vibrant, abstract, colourful piece. She actually emerged from the graffiti scene in Germany in the 90s. There was a black line painted here. The, the piece used to go from right the way top to the bottom. But I personally really enjoy the way that graffiti writers kind of participate in this wall. And most people enjoy this mix of styles, which I think makes, you know, Shoreditch the vibrant place that it is. 